The minimalist lifestyle is a movement that seeks to pare down possessions to only the essential. Because life can be lived richer and fuller when unnecessary possessions have been removed, it is a growing trend that includes more than just young, single, 20-somethings. Many families are embracing the lifestyle as well, and more and more are being introduced to it every single day. Maybe even this is your first introduction. Now, some people get nervous when they hear the word minimalist. For them, it conjures up images of destitution or barren walls or empty cupboards. And rightly so, they decide that this is no way to enjoy life. And I would agree, that is no way to enjoy life. Since deciding to become minimalist years ago, we have been on a journey to define what that means for us and how it fits into our unique lifestyle. We live in the suburbs of Phoenix. We have two kids. We're active in our community and in our church. We like to entertain and show hospitality and host small groups. Our life is not identical to anybody else. It is our life, nobody else's. And so minimalism for us would have to be unique. It would require us to determine what our most important pursuits are and then remove everything that distracts us from it. To determine if minimalism might indeed be the right lifestyle for you, consider these questions. Number one, do you spend too much time cleaning? If you enjoy clean, tidy homes, but don't like to do cleaning, minimalism might be the answer. Because the easiest way to reduce cleaning is to own less stuff. Number two, are you trying to get out of debt? Debt holds our life in bondage and it weighs heavily on our shoulders. And getting a handle on it by buying less is one of the most life-giving actions you can take. Number three, is there too much stress in your life? Physical clutter results in extra anxiety on our lives. Minimalism removes the clutter and limits the distraction that it causes. It's like a breath of fresh air for our lives. Number four, would you like more time in your day? Consider for just a moment the amount of time that our belongings drain from our life. Whether we're cleaning or organizing or managing or maintaining or shopping, possessions demand a large percentage of our time. Number five, are you environmentally conscious? Minimalism reduces the impact on the environment by requiring less resources on the front end and resulting in less waste on the back end. Number six, are you frugal? While becoming a minimalist doesn't mean necessarily that you have to spend less money, it certainly provides the opportunity to do so. And because you're buying less things, you also have the option to make higher quality purchases that last longer. Number seven, do you enjoy financially supporting other causes? Minimalism provides an opportunity to not just save money for the sake of keeping it, but for using it to further causes that you believe in. After all, once you become content with your belongings, you are freed up to begin meeting the needs of others. Number eight, are there things you value more than material possessions? Minimalism seeks to intentionally promote the things in life we most value by removing anything that distracts us from it. It allows our life to center around our deepest heart desires rather than the items on sale at a department store. Number nine, are you not afraid of change? Minimalism is a counter-cultural lifestyle that will force changes in the way you spend your time, energy, and money. Of course, not every change is for the better, but minimalism definitely is. Number 10, is your life too valuable to live like everyone else? Our heart, soul, and passions make us valuable and unique. Don't sacrifice your important role in this world by settling for the same possessions that everybody else in your neighborhood is chasing. Your life is far too important. 
Your particular practice of minimalism is going to look different from anybody else. After all, you live a different life than anybody else. So find a style that works for you, one that's not cumbersome or burdensome, but it's freeing based on your values, desires, passions, and rational thinking. Ultimately, you will begin to remove the unneeded things in your life. As a result, you will find space to intentionally promote the things you most value by removing anything that distracts you from it. Hi everyone, it's Kim Becker. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, we'd love to have you give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like more videos like this, then consider subscribing to our channel.